Ukraine will win, but we need help to save lives. Hundreds of people returned to the capital to continue protesting the war in Ukraine. I don't find any other place that I can be right now. I need to support uh, my fellow Ukrainians who is fighting there right now, who is never going to give up, and I know that for sure. Protesters say they're doing this for the people of Ukraine, including their family and friends. Because uh, you're going to sleep, you're praying that your family is safe, you wake up, the only thing you think, you don't even think about coffee anymore. Like the first thing you do is just wake up and you start messaging everybody that you can. Now it's time to act! Russia, wake up! And every single second they don't respond, you're freaking out like there is no tomorrow. As the war continues, so will the protests, but some admit they're losing hope. I had very little hopes that this time will get meaningful help. I am so sad that I am right, but I truly hope that any minute I will be wrong. I want to be wrong. I want the world to stand up and wake up. Why are we weak? Why are the leaders weak? Protesters say their message remains clear. We're calling on NATO. Close the airspace. NATO will close the sky. Everything else will be done by Ukrainian army. I can 100% guarantee that. Ukraine was training for eight years. Eight years they were practicing. Eight years they were training to fight in the cities. And they will do the job professionally. Until then, protests in front of the capital will continue until the war has ended. People will never forget and people will never forgive and people will never forgive NATO too. I will, I personally will not ever forgive. Amid Ruiz, Fox 7 Austin News.